Hi, before we get started with this video, I just like to say that I feel really sad for Katie and Tina because they lost their brother and their son two weeks ago in a car crash. The other driver had their seatbelt on and he, they said that he lived and their son Tyler, who, isn't it Tyler? who ha didn't have a seatbelt on, died. I felt really bad when she was telling the story. I was crying. And I just like to tell you guys, seatbelts can save your life. You may think it doesn't, but it does. One person can live by wearing one, and one person can die by not wearing one. So always wear your seatbelt. With that said, today is December um, 15th, 2013th. The last day for Survivor, it's Goddess Code 2 here, and so I'm using a headset because I don't have a laptop yet, but by February I should have one, so props on that. Um, so sorry if I'm mumbling or if you can't hear me, or if I'm skipping out, or whatever. Let's get started with talking about blood versus water. They gave us some clues on the next survivor that's coming in February, which is BBB. Didn't get what that meant. And then they finally told us that it was bronze, brains, and beauty. I don't know what they mean by that, but we'll just have to see in February. Anyways, um, I always thought that Hayden should win this season of Survivor because I thought it would be so cool for Hayden to to win Big Brother and to win Survivor. And there's three things that they didn't do in this Survivor that they did in all the other Survivors. And I don't understand why they didn't do it. The first one is because they had their loved ones with them, they didn't have a w an episode where they reunited with their loved ones and then got to you know, do a challenge with them, and then got to go away for the night with them. They didn't have that this year, because their loved one was with them. Second of all, they didn't have, um, well, you know, on the last show, they have them walk through and talk about all the survivors that were voted out in order and reunite, you know, have us remember them. They didn't do that. Thirdly, at the reunion show, they didn't show, they didn't pick out a fan favorite. They didn't have us vote for a fan favorite to give someone our fan money, which I thought was weird. And... Hayden, what are you still doing with Cat? Like, seriously. But whatever. So it went like this. Laura stopped. Like, Laura was struggling so bad at the Egyptian Island that she lost. I was so happy about that. But Hayden, I was like, Hayden, quit, f quit itching your damn eye. Quit rubbing your damn eye. Leave your arms down. Don't move, period. Because moving one arm just wipes some sweat off your eye is going to get you to lose the game. You don't see Tina moving around, rubbing sweat from her eyes. And that's what lost Hayden the game. And I was so mad at him for that. Uh, then Sierra was the next one to go. And I'm just looking at Monica like, Monica, are you stupid? Are you dumb? Are you retarded? Because you're not going to be, you're not going to win with Tyson and Jervis. You're not going to be number one, you're not going to even be second place. Jervis is going to take your second place. End of the, you know, you're so stupid going with those guys. You could have won if you went with Hayden and Sierra. Or Sierra and Tina, in that matter. But she was just too gullible and stupid, thinking, I'm doing this for me. She kept saying, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for Brad. I'm not doing it for Jarvis. I'm not doing it for Tyson. I'm not doing it for Tina. I'm doing it for me. Really? If you were fucking doing it for yourself, Monica, then you would have taken Tina to the end. 
but no, you took the boys. That is not doing it for yourself. Because you let those boys play you. And that's why they, that's why you lost. Even though I was shocked that you got second place with one vote, because artists already promised Tyson, if you vote me out, you're not getting my vote, and he stuck to that word. Everyone was just gutting for you, Monica, and yelling at you, and just going crazy. It was just unbelievable. We didn't get to see all the votes, and I don't know why, but after Sierra left, it was Tina, of course, and Tyson won with five votes, Jarvis got zero votes, and Monica got one. I don't know why he didn't share the information of what the other votes were, and when they kept talking about the guy that won last year, they kept saying something about his wife, something happened to his wife. They didn't say career, they said wife, and yet, it's career. So he's make, he's a writer making jokes on a stupid show. Um, I don't know what else to say, I just can't believe what's happening, and uh, I'm sick, if you can't tell, my nose is stuffy. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I guess I will see you guys in February 2014 for when uh, Survivor comes back and for Amazing Race. I will be doing Amazing Race this year. I will be doing Amazing Race until my favorite all-star is voted out. Or not voted out, excuse me. Don't win the race and then I'm done. I'll probably be there for the last show you know, to see who wins, but, um, you all know that Brandon and Rachel from Big Brother is going to be on the new Amazing Race All-Star Game, which sucks, gets, upsets me whatsoever, because I don't think they should be back, because they, s Rachel is such a whiny little bitch, but they are, and I just hope that they get voted off before Team YouTube, which is Joey Casefa and Megan, aka Strawberry17, on YouTube. Those two people are the awesomest people in the world, and I have faith that they can win this. Um, I hope they get farther than Rachel and Brennan, that's for sure, because if not, then wow, that's pathetic. So I will see you in February 2014 for Amazing Ace. And for the next Survivor, which they probably already taped, they've already taped next year's Amazing Race, because I watch Joey Casepro's YouTube videos, and Megan's, Strawberry 17, YouTube videos, and it said, and he was doing collabs for the whole month of November and a little bit of December, and that's when we knew he was taping for it, so, and then we found out from CBS that they will show it in September so I'm excited about that and if you want to know my I'm not going to make a video every time of Amazing Race and Survivor but I will of the first show and of course the end of the show and if somebody vo gets voted out that I like maybe um, but if you want to know my opinions or see pictures of the shows please follow me on my group page on Facebook called Surviving Big Brother. The link will be down in the description, so I hope you all check that out. And also, make sure you comment with your Google Plus account. If you comment with your YouTube account, I cannot reply back to you, and I will delete your comment because... I can't reply back to it, so what's the point of having it up? So make sure you're using your Google Plus account to comment so I can reply back. Thank you and bye-bye. Talk to you guys later.